happy to be chatting with you today about my Devon DJ5 bass. Uh, this is a new bass to me, and I'm very, very happy to, uh, to have it. It's made by Devon Guitars out of Wisconsin, and the model is actually Diamond J5. Uh, J obviously pertains to jazz bass, and this is Devon's take on, on a you know, somewhat traditional jazz bass with a little bit more of a modern flair. Um, I have to admit, what first drew me to this bass um, was the aesthetic. I, I bought it uh, online, and I kept coming back to, to the look of the bass. I'm a sucker for, for a nice-looking ash maple jazz bass on any day, and this one really just struck me. I love the, the overall look of the, of the light woods against the, the black hardware. And uh, speaking of the woods, we'll talk about the, the construction now. It's an uh, ash body, as you can see here, a uh, maple neck, and uh, a maple fingerboard. And I really, really like the fingerboard uh, from a cosmetic standpoint. It's very light, uh, almost has a bleached appearance, and it's got some very nice figuring to it, but it doesn't have bird's eye, uh, which, which I actually like. I often find bird's eye uh, detracts. It kind of you know takes away your attention from the rest of the instrument. So I'm very happy. Uh, that this bass doesn't have that. And then of course without the, the, the face dots on there, what you see is just the, the, the true fingerboard and then how it complements the top. And the top was a new one for me as well. I've never uh, played or even seen an instrument with a birch top. This is a figured birch. Uh, and if I understand correctly, there's a veneer here that you can see. Uh, I hope I get this right. I believe it's black boxwood and my apologies to Devin if that's, uh, if that's incorrect. But uh, the overall aesthetic of the bass, I just love how everything works together. We've got the, the black hip shot hardware, uh, the Bartolini humbucking J pickups, and a uh, really neat touch. Uh, the recessed knobs um, just give the, the bass a, a terrific look, in my opinion. Very classy, certainly modern, uh, but, but not out of touch, uh, and, and certainly not out of uh, its element on, on any gig. It's, uh, in fact, I've used it on R&B gigs, jazz gigs, the, 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 whole, uh, the whole gamut, uh, sonically as well as aesthetically. Um, speaking to the electronics, there are the Bartolini Humbucking Jays. Um, I'm not sure which model, uh, as you may know, Bartolini, if you go to their website, they have dozens of different Humbucking J pickups, and I'm not sure which these are other than I dig them. They really sound great. Uh, the bass has the NTMB-F preamp, and I'll run through the control layout here very quickly. There's volume, blend, treble, uh, mid-range, and then there's the, the, the bass control there. And then there's also push-pull for active-passive on the volume control. The toggle switch here is the three-position mid-switch. And I know the, uh, the extremes. I'm going to guess on the middle. I believe it's, it's definitely 250. I think this is 500, but I could be incorrect there. Honestly, it's not something I ever use, so I haven't given it much thought. And then uh, the bottom switch is, is 800 hertz, so you get to select uh, your particular frequency when you uh, boost the, uh, the mid-range frequencies. What uh, The little riff I played at the beginning, uh, just kind of an E minor thing, that was with everything flat and centered, and for, uh, for a frame of reference, I'll play that again very quickly. organically even unplug the basses. He's got plenty of low end, it's got ample um, speaking voice. I just really dig the sound of the bass and that was you know, certainly unknown for me so I feel kind of fortunate in that regard. You never know what you're going to get when you buy a bass uh, without having heard it uh, for yourself or played it for yourself and, and I definitely feel, uh, uh, feel I did well in that regard with this bass. Um, what has become kind of a favorite sonic choice for me, particularly finger style playing, is to bias the bridge pickup um, and then boost the, the low mids a little bit to bring back some of that low end that you lose when you take away uh, the centered pickup position. So let me play that same riff with that tone setting. And first I'll, uh, I'll move the, um, the, the blend control about halfway between centered and toward the bridge pickup. And then I'm just gonna slightly boost the 250 hertz uh, mids. It, um, any more than that and it actually uh, get, gets almost a little bit boomy, which again I think is a testament to the woods of the bass. It doesn't need a lot of, of boost because there is just so much organic low end in the instrument. So I'm boosting the, the low mids a little bit and I'll play that same riff now and uh, give you a taste of that for you. sound a little 
little bit harsh in a solo environment, but in, in a mix with other instruments, it just sounds amazing. And it really uh, you know, kind of cuts through um, with a nice, chewy, uh, bitey presence, but it doesn't, it doesn't get overbearing at all. So that's, that's probably my recent favorite tone of this bass. Um, but to give you an idea of, uh, of the neck pickup sound, uh, which is also pretty versatile, I'll bring that uh, blend control back. I'll, I'll bring the EQ back to centered and I'll boost, I'm sorry, not boost, I'll bias the neck pickup here and we'll get an idea of what that tone sounds like with the same riff. What I, what I dig about that tone is you get the, the warmth and the punch uh, that, that certainly ventures into P bass territory, but um, the, the ash and, and the maple board really kind of shine through there. You don't really lose that uh, mid and upper mid uh, bite to the tone. So in a lot of ways, you kind of get the best of both worlds. And I certainly use that tone flavor on a gig uh, with, with great success as well. That certainly has cut. It's not uh, boomy or anything, but it gives you that nice bit of uh, warmth and punch. So um, that just speaks to how versatile this bass is. I've had it uh, right around two months now, and I've used it on a handful of gigs and have been very happy with it. Um, getting back, I guess I probably should have covered this earlier, it's a 19 millimeter bridge spacing, 35 inch scale bass, so it's definitely you know, a modern take on, on a jazz bass. Uh, plenty of, of low end. You know, it's, all, it's all in there, anything you want, and I just really love the way uh, that the bass speaks. You know, it's really got that, that kind of nice, full and fat, but still uh, a little bit of grind, a little bit of bite. To the tone uh, to give you that uh, the just wee bit of aggressiveness that helps cut through any mix. I've used it uh, on jazz gigs, R&B gigs, where it really sits in nice, you know, funk. Uh, that kind of stuff is just terrific. Um, since it is a, a Bartolini equipped J bass, I guess it would be a crime if I didn't at least play one uh, thumb riff to give you an idea of the of the slap tone. So I'll kind of go uh, with everything flat and centered, and um, and just do a little variation of the same riff with uh, with the thumb. everything you want uh, and in a live mix it definitely really really sounds terrific uh, even though I you know, these days I don't do a whole lot of slap playing but it's certainly nice to have that uh, right on tap if uh, if a particular tune or environment calls for it so there we have it this is my my Devon guitars uh, DJ5 Diamond J5 bass uh, I am I'm just uh, very ecstatic to have this instrument it's tremendously versatile uh, sonically it's very comfortable uh, used it on a four-hour gig with with no worries whatsoever and it, uh, it, it's gorgeous. I just love the looks of it. Uh, not over the top, uh, fairly subtle actually in terms of, of the boutique J look, but it is uh, certainly, it does have its own personality and it, and it certainly garners compliments from that standpoint as well. So many thanks to Devon Guitars. Uh, very happy to have this bass. Have a wonderful day, thank you.